Hey guys, what's up? Uh, this is Thomas with uh, Hook It Up Outdoors. Um, what I'm doing today is is putting in an auxiliary uh, gravity fed tank. Um, hopefully this thing will, will be what I need. Um, pull my camper. I can only get around 250 miles per tank on this uh, on this truck. I get around eight to 11 and a half, 12 miles a gallon. So that's not much, and uh, I got to do something about that. Uh, makes it makes it hard getting in the fuel stations at that that close, and finding fuel stations and all that stuff. It just it's just a headache. So uh, went online, did a lot of research, and this is a tank I come up with. Uh, this auxiliary tank is by Bud and Tony's, uh, or from Bud and Tony's truck. It's, truck parts. Uh, I'll put a link in the description below where I bought it and the exact tank. Uh, I've got a 2012 F350 uh, Lariat four door, so short bed. I think this will work really well. Now I've already did a couple things and I'll go ahead and show you here. So I went ahead and put my fitting in down here and what I used to, to, to seal it up with around the threads is this stuff called P is by Loctite is PST 592 as you can see here but the thing that you gotta you gotta uh, make sure of it's okay to use with diesel fuels well I can't find it on the pack here I know it's I know it's okay to use it I looked it up online and it says it's okay to use for diesel fuels so I'll put a link to this down in the description below uh, you can get this on uh, off Amazon so I'll put a link to it the next thing I did was drill my holes but i got two pilot holes drilled on each side so i'm gonna go back with a 3 8 inch bit and build, uh, bore those out bigger because i know those are okay to, to to drill so once i get done with that i gotta get a three quarter inch inch hole right down here in the corner uh where i'm gonna drill my hole for my fuel line to go down at so i'm not sure exactly where i'm gonna drill that hole at but it's probably gonna be over here in the corner somewhere but I've already got the holes drilled on that side, uh, pre-drilled. So I'm going to drill those out bigger as well. Since this is a 41 gallon tank, I'm hoping this will, I mean, cause my, my truck tank is only, I don't know, it may, it's 25 gallon, maybe a little bit more than that. It, don't, it ain't much, it's a small tank for this big a truck. So I'm hoping this 41 gallon tank will push me a lot further than, than what that stock tanker has done for me. I've got to get a three quarter inch it uh, to run my run my line down through the through the bed so it comes with a grommet so this grommet is for a three quarter inch hole so I can run that run that uh, hose down through there so there won't be no edges you know to cut the hose so that's the next step that's actually a seven eighths inch hole Anyway, I gotta find me another bit. I'm gonna go ahead and drill these other holes. some of this stuff here just to um, keep it where it won't rust is the main thing I'm gonna go underneath and do the same thing
I'll keep it from resting, hopefully. Taking this bit right here to clean up a little bit. Alright guys, I got it wobbled out enough to fit down in there. So that's my grommet and my hose will fit right down in there and be good to go. Alright guys, I hope you guys can see this. I don't know if you can or not, but I hope you can. So what I'm gonna do, I've got my hose down through the through the hole right there. As you can see, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mark this. I'm gonna figure out where my bulge, my pipe ends, and make sure I got enough here. To slide up into I'm gonna, I put me a tie wrap right here because this right here this stuff right here will, will uh, unravel so I just put a tie wrap there to hold it but I'm gonna just score this stuff here All right, now the moment of truth. I gotta do is tighten her down. All right, guys, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to vacuum out the bed of my truck right up here. I heard a little bit of rattling in my tank, so I just want to vacuum out it just a little bit and turn it up on its side and vacuum out anything that might be in the tank. All right, now I'm going to turn my tank up and uh, vacuum out anything that may fall on this side of the tank. I'm 
gonna take my marker and my scissors. Where do I put those? I'm gonna mark the padding that I got put under under there to give it some cushion. Uh, this is just topper that goes on between uh, camper shells is what that is. I'll put a link for it down in the description below. That's what that is. I'm gonna put uh, a few strips of it on the bottom here. So I'm gonna do every other two. Uh, so I need seven of them. So I'm gonna cut them 10, three quarter inches is what I think it was. So I already got one here marked. Ain't gotta be nothing super special. This is sticky on both sides, so. making a mark here to identify where I need to put the put it on the bottom here so I should have my marks right down through here, which I do. So now I can just lay this straight, hopefully. Could have one of them that same length. All right, now I'm gonna take these paper things off. Cause like I said, it's sticky on both sides. That give it a little bit of cushion. Now I'll flip it back over. And I'll put the bolts in it and we'll be good to go. I got my bolts, so these are three eighths, three eighths by inch and a half, a washer, a lock washer, and a lock nut. So we're gonna be using those for up underneath. So I'm gonna go ahead and stick these down through those. So this is the hard part, and this is the part that would be really, really super nice if I had another person underneath or up here in the bed to help me get these things locked down, but I don't. So I'm gonna take uh, a box in wrench, put it up here, hopefully it don't come off, and go up underneath and go ahead and tighten everything down.
keep it down, maybe. Perfect. It did the trick. <laughs> is getting this right here cut about right here at least just a little bit of slack just in case I have a split or something for some reason Clamp down. I got that on there. Now I'm going to put my wheel back on. I'm going to put an overflow right here. My tank comes with an overflow on the top, or if you want to pump it out, I guess, to something else. I don't know. But anyway, it's got a check valve up here. So I'm going to put a, I'm going to use this, what I got left over, to have it overflow to going out the front here. Don't think I ever need it, but I got, I'm going to put it on there. All right, guys, quick rundown on what I did. Put the thread sealant on the valve there. Let it sit for around 24 hours. Figured out where I want to drill my holes down through the bed. Got the tank positioned on here where I want it and where it was right under the bed so I wouldn't run into nothing. Um, run the line here so everything would work. Um, cut into the main hose as hopefully you can, you guys can see. Um, that was that, that, that was the hardest part and the most tedious because I, I want to make sure I did everything right Then I just bolted down everything. I put this topper on the bottom on the bottom of the of the tank uh, Just to give it some cushion. But, well, I guess the second hardest thing was getting that hole down in the side of my bed For the line to go through that was probably one of the hardest things to do. I didn't really have a bit to get down through there, so I had to use the biggest bit I had and then just kind of wall it out. I took one of these bits like this and just edged out the hole with a with a drill until I until I was able to get the right size. And like I said, mine come with a grommet um, and all that. I put all the links down in the description below. If you got any questions about what I did or how I did it, feel free to ask. I'll try to my best to get to you to get to your questions, answer them the best I can. So it wasn't hard. It just took me. I just took my time and 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 done it the best I could. I could. So guys, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. I'd greatly appreciate it. If you got something out of it, hopefully hopefully you did. Please subscribe for more videos. Uh, getting ready to go on some camping trips this year. And uh, yeah, uh, thank you for watching. Y'all take care, and uh, we'll see you in the next one. Peace out, guys.